hello everyone so if you were trying to purchase this chewy mini book x n150 variant uh, you already know that this variant has 50 hertz display right but uh, there are some tweaks you can use to actually upgrade this screen refresh rate to 60 hertz so that you can get some smooth performance over the display as well as it will fix the frame drop or uh, display choppiness issue that you will be facing uh, with 50 hertz so in this video you are going to see how this is done and uh, here you can already see that i have uh, set it to 60 hertz and in my previous video of unboxing uh, you have noticed that the hertz value was set to 50 and also there were some frame drops while running 4k videos so here i am testing the ufo test and you will see that we have 60 hertz screen refresh rate now and we are getting 60 fps as well so this screen is actually capable of 60 hertz but the consumer uh i mean the manufacturer actually uh pushed it down to 50 hertz because they faced some uh, stability issue i think but uh, there are tutorials available using uh, the CRU software that will help you update this uh, refresh rate to 60 hertz and some people also have used it with 90 hertz as well but i would recommend using 60 hertz just to uh, make sure that we don't break anything and here you can see i'm running the 4k test and uh, here you can see that we don't have the frame drop uh, as seen earlier in the previous video that i created so here you can see we now have a better performance compared to uh, previous scenario with 50 hertz so basically the frame drop was happening due to the 50 hertz screen refresh rate issue and after upgrading the hard uh, sampling to 60 hertz it is now better so i'll shortly show you how this is actually done so now you can see that we can uh, actually uh, smoothly scroll the page and uh, it works very smoothly and you can uh, set it to 90 hertz as well so here i'm going to show you how this is done so here you can see we have the cru software that you can download from google so after opening this you have to uh, create a resolution by adding uh, the timing to cvt rb2 standard and uh, if you want to use the 90 hertz mode you have to uh, use the upper option that is above the cv2 so after uh, setting this configuration as you see you will be able to convert this to 60 hertz by uh, restarting the software i mean by restarting the computer uh, and then you will be able to see 60 hertz and please be careful about uh, selecting the option because uh, if you use it wrongly it will uh, break the display and uh, you won't be able to recover everything so make sure that you do it correctly otherwise it won't uh, work properly and uh, your display will have issues so thank you for watching and if you have any question please write down in the comment section below and thank you very much